when you think of uh, of your group's play in week one? I know you're looking at Baltimore, but just looking back real quickly. Uh, I thought defensively, you know, overall everybody played hard. Um, you know, always looking to improve and uh, the, the beauty of coaching guys who, you know, are, uh, are always kind of looking to get better. Um, you know, coming off the field, I think they were just excited to watch the tape. And, you know, um, I think there are some things we wish, you know, we did better and some things we're really fired up about that we did. So like any game, you know, uh, any first game too. But, uh, yeah, I, obviously I've been grinding away on, on these guys. But, uh, but I, I thought overall uh, solid performance, definitely room for improvement, just like, like most of the time, you know. Where are you and Josh right now in terms of – uh, your discussion about a package for Channing. Obviously, you've got Jerome, Land, and Duke, who all need to play. Is that something you guys have talked about much? Does one exist? Yeah, I think, you know, as you're going through that, um, always with the roster, each game's different, you know, and guys have different roles in different games. So um, that's one of the things, certainly, uh, in the NFL, it's a, it's a long season. So every game's a little bit different, and you're kind of always talking about that every week, honestly. Um, you know, with all the guys in the room. I, I just think it's a, you know, it's obviously like like most games, it's a do your job. Every game's a do your job game, um, but you know, just obviously reading your keys, um, playing physical things that we always talk about. Because I just think those are the tenets of playing good defense. You know, running to the football, uh, tackling well, being physical. Um, and, and obviously getting your eyes right so you can do your job uh, correctly all the time. Those are the things we're, we're often talking about, we're always talking about, you know, but um, certainly in this game as well. Josh Boyer mentioned he's stayed here uh, late a few nights already this week. Is that just the nature of the business when it comes to facing Baltimore? Uh, I think facing anybody. I don't know if I've ever been here where it's not late. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, football's a, a – a job like that, coaching football, I, I think if you're doing it right, you're you're putting the hours in and you're trying to look for every uh, competitive advantage that you can get. Um, so yeah, definitely not like uh, not much different than uh, many other weeks, but you know, in here late, burning a midnight oil, trying to get it right. And uh, if you have if you have the type of guys that we have, like defensively, the guys we get to coach, um, you want to do a great job for them. You know, you don't want to let each other down. I think players feel that way about players, coaches feel that way about coaches. Uh, players feel that way about coaches, and coaches feel that way about players. You know, uh, I think we're always trying to work toward is just have guys that genuinely, honestly, like love each other, want to do a great job for each other, never quit on each other. And uh, if that means staying here late or whatever uh, for 20 weeks, whatever I don't know, whatever the, the, you know, however long the season is, uh, 25 weeks, then yeah, absolutely, because we're fortunate enough to coach guys that. Uh, you know, are about that and just good people. So you, you want to make sure you're doing a good job for them. Anthony, what's the challenge of preparing your guys to face the fastest quarterback in the NFL just one week after facing possibly the slowest quarterback in the NFL? I, I think, I think um, you know, each team uh, presents their own challenges. So the beauty of football is you're, you're jumping into different schemes and defending different things uh, every week. You know, camp is no different than that. You jump out of camp into a preseason game, getting ready for an opponent, or possibly playing with a team uh, for a couple practices there. Uh, so you know you're jumping in and out of schemes all the time, and hopefully the fundamentals um, that you're practicing every day, OTAs, uh, summer camp, in the season, that stuff's got to show up for you to play well against all these different uh, assortments of offensive uh, offenses and players. So. Um, really just, you know, maybe I'm redundant in saying this, but doing your job, you know, getting up, hit the ground running, play like there's a hot stove on the ground and don't ever stop running and attack the football. And um, those are the things we talk about every day. And, you know, obviously, like I said, I'm going to keep going back to this, but if you care about each other, uh, you care about the guys in the room, you love each other, you're going to do your job well and you're going to do your job uh, to the best of your ability. Don't yeah, stop. Let, let me ask it this way. How much do you have to drill into your guys – that's Lamar Jackson back there, so you got to be more, even more aware of the, like of the running threat because this is not a, no ordinary. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I think anybody um, who knows uh, Lamar Jackson as a player knows he's you know an elite level athlete, a great quarterback, um, and I think you know we have respect for every guy that that we play that plays that position. It's obviously a tough position to play in this league, but um, yeah, he's uh, 
an exceptional uh, talent. And you know, I got to coach against him a couple of times in college too. And I, I learned that firsthand as a college coach. Uh, so, yeah, just everybody, you know, locking in and trying to do their job. And, and uh, you know, I think you could see that on the tape. Coach, I don't think there's any other team that ran more uh, fullback snaps in the game on Sunday than the Ravens. How does that challenge your position group to have another back in the backfield uh, so often? Um, I think fortunately we're just, you know, our team, uh, we play a, a bunch of that type of look uh, in the off season and in the summer. Um, so. That's, I guess that's an added benefit of being uh, in our system on, on offense. But, um, you know, I think like anything else, you know, you're preparing for different looks every week. So um, just got to get your eyes right to play fast and, and play physical.